What's up, YouTube? This is uh, King Kobe JFS, another video. Um, I'm in the process of trying to get a car. Um, I gotta stay for my driver's license and all that, so that's what be my next goal here. Um, this is my friend Kent. He works with me at Wendy's. Um, he's a place to crash. He was sleeping in his truck. I said, you know what, dude, you can come stay with me until I get your own place. It's cool, dude. And he's a pretty cool, dude. You know, he's quiet, doesn't make too much noise. <laughs> it's probably a good thing that some of the neighbors won't hate him. I imagine the neighbors didn't like Chris that much, but... Anyway, I called Stephanie, and it was good to hear from her again. It really was. I try to act all macho, but I'm not going to miss her, but the truth is I miss her terribly. I really do. You know, there's a couple of times, you know, I'd wake up, and she came to visit. She's right there next to me in my bed, all snuggled up, all cozy and warm next to me, and that felt fucking amazing, man. It's just like, holy fuck, actually. Kind of girlfriend, you know? And then, lo and behold, she started talking about moving into the apartment. She moved into Casper. I'm like, holy shit, things are moving way too fast. Slow down. <laughs> We knew each other for like a couple of months, and it's just like, bam, you know, things are taking off, so. And, you know, the long-distance relationship with Stephanie was hard, you know. I'm thinking to myself, this is, this is, this is, you know, you know, I'm thinking, you know what, I can get a girlfriend in a job court. I could probably try to get one in Casper. So I broke up with Stephanie thinking I could actually get a girlfriend in Casper. It turns out it's not as easy as I thought it was. Job court, that convenience of small campus, not very many students, people knew each other really quickly. Within a week, you knew everybody, so. But it was good hearing from her again, it really was. I don't know, personal shit to work out. I just think I got a haircut too, and so I'm talking about, you know, shopping for jeans and stuff. I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, so. I think personally, um, I started doubting the relationship and wondering why am I still in it. Long distance, I got depressed, and the depression ate away at me. Point where I wanted to just, you know, I figured Stephanie could probably be with someone who was closer to her. But I think, you know, if I really want Stephanie back, you know, I gotta be able to make it work and just, you know, know that. I don't know, man. I really don't know. The thing of it is, man, I miss her terribly. I really do, and I'm wishing I hadn't broke up with her. I wish I could be with her right now. I wish I could hold her again. It's nice, you know. Uh, personally, it wasn't just the sex, man. It was, man, we are awesome at communicating with each other, and we have a lot in common, so I think, you know, I had something going good with her, and I hope I didn't screw things up too badly. You know, it'd be nice if I could hold her again. Oh, well. I don't know, man, if she's got a boyfriend or not. Um, I checked her Facebook. She doesn't update anything. You know, she's talking about her day, I guess, and I think to myself, holy shit, you know. I like the Trey Black track. Was it pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty good. I got a, it's a Walmart. Yeah, so both had tobacco, so I'll show what, what tobacco I got left to make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Because life's hard, when you got to struggle, it helps to have someone there that cares for you, you know what I'm saying? It's your friend, you know what I'm saying? And with Stephanie, I care about her a lot, I really do. You know, I try to pretend like I don't. But then I see some guy, you know, posting shit about her on Facebook. So when you're going to come back to Colorado, I'm like, who the fuck is this scumbag, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. But I can tell you from personal experience, a lot of this relationship sucks because the thing of it is, she kind of she come to see me and oh god, it was awesome those those couple of days, you know what I'm saying? But then freaking she'd go back to job core and be like, oh, gone so soon, you know. I think I'm still, I'm constantly broke. I make no fucking money, but I make enough to support myself, and that's pretty awesome. So and it may not be much, you know, scrubbing and pissing off the toilets for eight fifty an hour, but it's a job. I'm damn proud of it. So you know, it's better than no job. You think you're trying to get a car, but cigarettes are expensive. That's why I switch to rollies. They're a lot cheaper and easier to make. In fact, me and Stephanie's song is is um Here For You by Ozzy Osbourne, and it's a good song. I tried to listen to it the other night, and I can't listen to it all the way through right now. It just hurts too much, you know. It, it just reminds me of Stephanie, and oh god, it makes me wonder so bad. And ironically enough, Stephanie doesn't mind the fact that I smoke tobacco or drink or watch porn because she watches porn too. So, and most guys are like, you idiot, you had an awesome relationship with her, you just, and I kick myself every day for it, and I just... And I think, you know what, well, why does this crap sucking? Maybe I can try to get a girlfriend on Casper. It turns out it's not working. It's a lot harder than it looks. And I'm not exactly the most confident with women. And Stephanie didn't care, you know. But I realize, you know, I, I have feelings for her. I really do. I, I miss her terribly. I think to myself, if I admit that, that makes me weak. But it doesn't. It just means I have feelings for her. And that's okay. I got ketchup stains all over my pants. Because, oh and behold, I have the ketchup pump I was changing in the lobby, and there's a tip that pokes into the bag that helps the whole system flow, ni flow, flow nicely. And I popped it into the bag, and it popped all over my. And as I was carrying it to the bag, 
you know, some of it spills out and got all over my pant leg here, so to wash that off but i think to myself you know what you know what can i offer stephanie i mean i barely make enough money to support myself and i think oh she gets a job you know it'll actually help a lot with support and stuff so and ironically enough i was going through my computer and <laughs> i found a couple of videos that i never seen online like at all i mean stephanie having sex and i thought it's just my personal use and i thought to myself oh look how happy i was and look how happy she looked you know just in that moment of lust and awesomeness and she was the first girl to actually give me a chance and that says a lot for me personally because growing up i was never the ladies man you know and i've been really angry these past couple of days i think it's because i miss stephanie and i and People talk all the shit they want. Oh, you gave her a hot pocket. Wow. Well, considering I don't make much at Wendy's, I make enough to support myself and buy a couple of groceries. That's it, you know, and pay rent and internet and, you know. I'm trying to cut back on my smoking for money, you know, saying and start rolling these rollies because they're cheaper and they're a lot healthier for you because it's pipe tobacco. But, yeah. I think it's, you know, growing up, going through life, I'm trying to analyze everything and. I realize I see Stephanie Fuller just sex. I see her as an awesome person, you know. We have a lot in common, and we connect so amazingly. It's just, it's weird, because I grew up my entire life, you know. Chicks just don't give a shit. They're like, this guy's a creep. Oh, it's Josh. Eh, you know, Asperger's not. I feel sorry for him. Whatever, you know. I mean, Stephanie, she looks past all that and gives me a chance, and... <laughs> It definitely made a difference in my world because, especially at Job Corps, when I, I first got there, chicks were not talking to me. Then they saw Austin, I was with Stephanie, and they're like, Oh, he's actually a gentleman after all. I'm shocked. And then they start talking to me, like, Oh, now you care. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I remember the first time me and Stephanie had sex, I had no clue what I was doing. And I didn't go to my dad for that advice or my mom because I didn't want to be awkward about it. So I asked Stephanie, Help me, please. I don't want this to be awkward for you at all. And I, I learned a couple things. And my buddy, Danny Frank at Job Corps, who's a complete man where he's had sex with a lot of women, you know, he taught me a couple of things too, so I can still remember the way Stephanie chased, so God, it's awesome. So this is def this is definite sexual attraction between me and Stephanie and well me especially and then it was also something deeper than that. You know, it's believe it or not, she likes to listen to slipknot. She doesn't look the type of listen to slipknot, but she likes to listen to slipknot and I thought, Wow, I miss her terribly, I really do. Oh, I went and checked out a couple of movies in the library because I figured, you know what, I want to watch a comedy, maybe brighten my spirits a little bit. So I read two comedies in the library. This one was so badly scratched up, you couldn't even watch it. And I've seen this movie a hundred times, so I know it by heart. But this one, I couldn't even start. It just fucking stopped, so I can't, at the beginning of the movie. So it just could not be read. I'm thinking to myself, really? Now here's the thing, they don't have movie stores anymore. If you see one, it's like, oh, what's that? You know, it's like the episode of South Park. <laughs> but... The thing about it is, that, you know, they pay someone to sit on their ass all day and make sure the DVDs are clean. They have a lot of DVDs at the libraries. I think, you know what, that'd be an easy job. Just sit on your ass all day and make sure the DVDs are clean and working. You think to yourself, that's, that's not much, but the thing of it is, it's a courtesy, you know. These DVDs are so fucking scratched up, I can't even watch them on the PS2, and my computer won't read them. So I'm thinking, ugh. So I think, you know what, it's life, it happens, so... And ironically enough, Stephanie actually has the exact same sense of humor as I do. You know, she'll laugh about necrophilia and make jokes about it with me. And we'll sit there and laugh about it all day. It's like, that's fucked up. But yeah, that's ironic as all hell, you know. So, is Stephanie my soulmate? I don't know. But I, all I do know right now at the moment is I miss her terribly. And I wish I hadn't broken up with her. Well, because that's just the thing. When I was dating Stephanie, I had so much confidence. I figured to myself, yeah, right, you know. But then, first couple of weeks being single, I'm like, all right, I'm single. Let's, let's do this. Let's find some chick and make it happen, you know. And, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, it didn't work out like I thought it would. In fact, this point in time, you know, I'm, I'm carrying this huge thing of sweet tea for the lobby. I'm like, sweet behind, you know, I'm trying to carry it behind me and stuff because it's big. You gotta stay behind so people are, because that kitchen's tiny. So you want to run into someone, you know, and I'm spilling a beef or getting burnt or something like that. So, you know, one of the older women's like, now she knows when I'm behind Josh. You think, think it's sweet, don't you? I'm like, no, it's, I think she's being a smart ass, but still, it was like, really? Oh, come on now. That's just creepy. Come on. Uh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. And then I go and see the pictures of me and Stephanie on Facebook all happy together and shit. And I go, oh. You look deep in thought. <laughs> it's just, uh,
In fact, I might just stick those videos on my iPod just so I have something to look at when I go in the bathroom just because I fucking get bored. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, that's perverted. Nah. What I can do is that... Because on this folder I got going here. The thing of it is, too, man, is that with iPod Touch, I can watch video on it. So I can actually put pornos me and Stephanie made on my computer on my iPod and watch it on my convenience when I'm not at home. But get rid of all these, couple of these photos here and just make room for the videos. I don't know how much space the iPod will hold, but I don't know it's a lot of space, but the thing of it is, I don't want to. I figure, you know what? He <laughs> 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 laughs, but it's probably true. I, were, I bet you anything, you would go into a bar, chicks are going to be all over you, dude. Guarantee it. Not always, because I'm kind of quiet, you know? Yeah, but that's you got the mysterious thing going on. Chicks dig that shit. You yeah. know, it keeps them guessing. Fuck yeah, they're playing sweet. Okay. Cool beans. All right. Cool. I can carry stuff with in my pocket. Aww. Like, that's just oddly romantic or oddly perverted. Maybe it's both. I don't know. All I know is I miss Stephanie. I miss her terribly. Anywho, this is uh, King Cobra JFS with another video, and I thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.